Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Odroid XU4 and I want to test out some Dreamcast games. I'm running Recall Box 5.0 for the XU4. This little board is very similar to the Raspberry Pi. It's a single board computer, very small, but it runs a Samsung Exynos 8 core 5422. Four of the cores are at 1.4 gigahertz. The other four are at two gigahertz. It has a six core Mali T628 GPU, two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, gigabit ethernet, HDMI, SD card slot, 30 pin GPIO. It's a very nice board, very powerful, and there are a lot of OSs for this board. I received mine from Ameridroid as a review unit, and it's a very awesome little board. If you're in the States and you're looking for Raspberry Pis, Odroids, accessories for your single board computers, I definitely suggest checking Ameridroid out. Link is in the description. Let's get right into it. So first up, I'm gonna test Jet Set Radio. And I'll turn the sound up as soon as I can get the music down in the game. All right, let's see how this thing runs. Now I do notice some things popping in in the background. Other than that, it seems to be running at a decent frame rate. We're not quite at 50 FPS. Now I'm running this at 50 Hertz, so it would only run at 50. Whoa. But it looks really good. Nice. Yeah, this is running much better than any other single board that I've tested this on. It's using the Recast emulator. I've also tested this on tons of Android TV boxes, and this seems to run better than any of them. This board has the same hardware as the International Galaxy S5. Woo! Almost missed that nice. there. Pretty good performance. Like I said at the beginning, it's not quite at full speed, but it's doing a great job. Overall, it's running this game pretty decently. Let's go ahead and move on to another Dreamcast game. Next up, we're going to try Aqua GT. Got some glitching going on here already. Yeah, I can already see buildings in the background. If you look up there, they're popping in really bad. But it's very smooth gameplay, other than the pop-in. And I've never really played this game on the Dreamcast, so... Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'd have to say it is running it at full speed, but with all the graphical glitches, it's probably not going to be worth playing this one. Now, hopefully down the road, this recast emulator is updated and fixes a lot of these problems for most of these games. Let's try Crazy Taxi 2. And it crashed, so I could have a bad ROM. And I really meant to say at the very beginning, 
This is the third version of Dead or Alive 2 that I've tried. This is the only version I can get to boot on the XU4 running recast. But as soon as I choose a character, it crashes. Half-Life won't start. Let's try Marvel vs. Capcom. So I did do a previous video running Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and there were some sprite glitches, but let's see how the first one worked. Ready. Fight. Okay, so I don't see the glitches in the characters here. Now, part one never really gave me trouble with the recast emulator. It was always part two. The uh, character sprites would start to scramble on screen with part two, and this looks like it's running at full speed. No glitching going on. Yeah. You will have some fun playing this game. Dang, he got behind me. There we go. Looks really good. We are definitely at full speed. And I'm not sure if this ran at 50 FPS or 60. I'm pretty sure it was 60 on the Dreamcast. Come on, Gambit. You win. Full speed Marvel vs. Capcom emulation on the Odroid X4 looks great. Next up, we gotta try Mr. Driller. This is such a fun game. Shoot, I'm missing all of them. Oh, and I got squashed up. It's running really good. Now, I know this isn't a very graphically intensive game, but it's a very fun game, and a lot of people love seeing if this game will run. So I figured I'd test it out. And again, I got squashed. So you shouldn't have any trouble running Mr. Driller. Let's go for Sega GT. Now in all of these games, I've tried to have the sound on when I can, so I'm hoping you guys can hear it. But the sound in all of these games has been really, really good. Go to hard class. And I gotta choose the Legacy B4. I love this car. So here's the problem with this game. I haven't played this game in so long that I'm not sure if it's running at full speed. I'm so used to playing like the new Forza games and it's hard for me to tell if this is how it ran on the original hardware or not. But I can definitely say that this is playable. I don't notice any graphical glitching going on. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. There's a chance it's not at full speed, but like I was saying, I just, I can't tell myself. We're gonna try another game. 
We're going to go with Soul Calibur. A little bit of flashing going on there. I see some in the background too. Battle one, fight! This is just going to be another one of those games I haven't played in so long that I'm not going to be able to tell you if this is at full speed. You can kind of judge for yourself. It's definitely playable. It feels slow to me, but then again, I've been playing newer fighting games that definitely run at 60 FPS. So, But if you see in the background there, there is a lot of stage glitching going on. It's not a game killer, but um, it is, you know, glitching out. Battle one, fight! <laughs> Very playable. It might be at full speed. I mean, I'm not having any trouble, no input lag or anything like that. If you're trying to play this competitively against your buddy, you might notice a little bit of input lag, but against the computer, the way it sits now, it looks great and plays just fine. We're gonna back out of here. So the last one I wanted to test was Shimu or Shen Yu, however you want to pronounce it. The problem is it takes me 30 minutes to get into gameplay and I do not want to sit through the cutscenes. It does run, I wasn't able to make it to the city. To tell you guys the truth, I've never been into this game, either of them. They're very, very slow for me. Part two crashes after the intro, so we can't even get into gameplay. So the last one I'm going to try is, let's do Sword of the Berserk. And it's actually running really good. I always remember this guy took forever to kill. Like he's gonna get back up. You might be able to deal with the lag though. I actually remember playing this game back in the day and it was so awesome because all of the blood it was so realistic at the time, and just looking at the blood now, it's very laughable. Alright guys, that's going to be it for now. Looks like it's running pretty decently. Overall, the Odroid XU4 running this recall box build runs great. I'm going to be doing a video on strictly N64 and strictly PlayStation 1 this week. I really want to move to some other operating systems and do some benchmarks. The board is more powerful than the Raspberry Pi. There is a lot of development going on right now for the Odroid XU4, but we never know how long the development is going to stay relevant. The Raspberry Pi has a giant following, so it's going to be developed for for years to come. We're never sure how long other people are going to support these types of boards. But for now, it runs great. I've tested a lot of stuff on this, and I'm very, very impressed with this board. Like always, thanks for watching.